Hello technical analysis fans, this is coach Victor here at Safe House, and today I want to talk to you about something shiny in the Christmas spirit. Let's talk about gold and throw in a few golden nuggets in there about trading. Let's get cooking. Let's have a look at the gold chart. This is the monthly time frame on gold and what a beast this asset has been. I mean, look at it look at it it's above 2000 again it has made historical new all-time highs and in a previous video i already covered this it's the mother of all swing failure patterns what happened up here it was violent it was fast it was just brutal i mean <laughs> but uh you know it's uh, absolutely beautiful to see a triple top like this get destroyed with a move like that that happens uh, not just in the extremely high time frame like this, but also lower time frames, and it's something that for trading is very, very nice and very important to be aware of. Anyway, those dynamics are covered in the other video. Go check it out. But here we're going to talk about how is gold going to finish the year, and by the looks of it, it's finishing exactly where it started the month of December, around the monthly open, as we call it. And uh, whether this candle finishes green or red will make a big difference in how we approach it in January. Big, big difference. What I want to show you now is as well, how did we cover this asset yesterday during the live trading session that we have in the Vanguard section at Safe House? It's called the opening bell session. And uh, we go over different assets, including gold. Around the New York session, check out uh, what kind of price dynamics and market dynamics are active. Yeah, make the best of it. Now we have the gold chart here on the one hour time frame, And you can see that we see a lot more detail about what's going on right now. There was a pretty big move and uh, impulsive move here on the 13th of December. And ever since price has been ranging, as we call it. In other words, going sideways, up and down and up and down, but pretty much staying around the same area since then. This would be around the monthly open. That's the former all time high up there. And one of the things that you could do is just grab the fixed range tool and determine, you know, how's the volume distribution since then. Yeah, this is very a very nice tool for exactly this kind of price action, because as you can observe, it gives you a very clear picture of why price is turning around where it is. Yeah, value area high, value area low, and this red line is the point of control. In other words, the horizontal level where most transactions have taken place in this range. Yeah? So it's important to be aware of these parts. We cover this in specific modules that we have available for the Safe House Vanguard members. If you're interested in finding out more, link is in the description below. Hit the like and subscribe button if you like what you see. It helps us out a lot. Thank you. Merry Christmas. So let's keep going. Um, yeah, so that's the uh, sideways price action or the ranging price action that uh, we were able to take advantage of. And this is something that occurs very, very often across all assets in uh, across all markets. So it's important to be aware of this sideways ranging price action because it can be very lucrative. All right. So what I've done now is I've gone down to the 15 minute time frame. So we have even more detail about what was going on and I've chopped up the chart so that we can see what it looked like exactly when we started the opening bell session yesterday, which was Wednesday the 20th. Yeah, this is the move that happened one hour before the New York Open, the New York Stock Exchange Open. There was a push to the downside and then an impulsive move up relatively quick. So here we can already start thinking, all right, is this a possibility for perhaps entering uh, a counter position or a counter trade position, in this case, a short position? Perhaps yes, perhaps no. One of the first things we can use is a Fibonacci retracement tool from high to low and see, aha, this is Golden Pocket, George Special and 786 area of resistance. So hmm, maybe there's a possibility there. We can still see the larger fixed range pool with the value areas, but now I'm more interested in the local price action. So I'm going to pull um, another fixed range pool just for this area. And we can already see, ah, great. Look at that. The point of control is lining up with 76. Very cool. So this is a possible uh, entry for a short position. So what would that look like? Well, basically you have to calculate, is it worth it? Is there not? What's the risk reward? The target would be, Here's a golden nugget for you. There's a change in market structure, right? So how do you know that? Because price is ranging sideways and here it makes a lower low. Yeah, it goes lower than what we had previously, just for this section of the chart. Yeah, not, not uh, let's ignore the rest for now. So it's leaving the range to the downside, but then coming back in. And what I expect here 
is a lower high. In other words, because price went the end did a lower low, that the next could be, yeah, there's no guarantees, a lower high. Reject here in this area of resistance and move back down. So possible short position could be around here. The stop loss is a bit tricky, of course. That has to be done based on what happens in the coming candles. And you can also go in the lower time frames to determine it better. Uh, to use the market structure available there or use something like a train uh, trend reversal template which gives you an even cleaner way to put stop losses yeah but just say okay definite invalidation if it goes up here that trades over uh but i would probably place it somewhere around here yeah depending on how the next few candles develop um but the hard stop loss definitely you know you have to set it somewhere <laughs> that's definitely the recommendation and the target would be well going below the lows yeah because you're Theoretically, we're changing now or possibly changing market structure locally, made a new lower low, lower high. So I would expect a lower low to be made. Risk reward is nice, five. Even if I take the, the hard stop loss up here, it's uh, still almost three. So um, it's an acceptable idea. So now we hit the play button and see what happened next. Yeah, this is what happened then during the New York session or as the New York Stock Exchange opened. And we can see that on gold, price started reversing went down to the value area low one more thing we can turn on is the vwap you must think, oh my god this is a, my goodness this is a magic line no it's not a magic line it's the volume weighted average price for the session we also have a module about that about the fixed range about the volume weighted average price about the fib retracement all of this that you see here we cover in the dedicated modules that we have for vanguard members at safe house so link is in the description below check it out and uh, if you like what you see hit the like button subscribe that helps us out a lot thank you so back to this resistance area now we have uh three factors already of course the vwap the fib uh resistance area point of control 786 very nice so the short position from this area yeah it's also possible to ladder in there's also a module about that <laughs> you can check that out too move to the downside successful check it out so we can also it's also possible to go on lower time frames which we were also doing just to trade that move down here and then move back up here and vwap continues to be a resistance uh, and so is this area and a move down again and we also want to know well did it actually take the lows because you were talking about the change in market structure there it is yeah this took a bit longer so this was the initial part of the new york session there was another rally back up from the valley area low yeah so wandering below the range so to speak back to the view up yeah later on so that was already 8 p.m my time rejects off the view up again makes another local lower high and then takes the previous lows in other words market structure is changing to the downside so the setup was a valid idea and it also worked out some setups are not going to work out it's impossible to get everything right but it's important that you here's another golden nugget that you combine different factors together to make your decisions. Yeah, it's very important. You make your own decisions. This is not financial advice. Yeah, this is only for educational purposes. But if you gather enough information to make an informed decision with high probabilities, then over time, statistically, you can be consistently profitable. That's very important. If those factors, those conditions for your trade si trading system are not there, if they do not exist at that moment, then there is nothing for you to do, in my opinion. Um, then it's better to be an observer until things line up again. So I hope you enjoyed that summary of uh, what we were looking at and uh, during the opening bell session. We were, of course, checking it out also in more detail and lower time frames. And this is just one of the many features that we have available at Safehouse Vanguard. So if you like what you see, then come on over and join us. We have a Discord server and we are going at it every day. So hope to see you there. I also want to wish you a very Merry Christmas season. I hope you get to spend a lot of time with your loved ones, disconnect from the uh, everyday situations and enjoy and focus on the positive things in life. And recharge your batteries because next year we're going to have a new yearly candle, a new monthly candle and <laughs> for every asset that there is there. So there's definitely a lot of exciting stuff coming up in the future. Have a good time. See you. Bye bye. Elevate your mastery in trading. Join the Safe House Vanguard today.